Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Restless and the Young, according to an update on Monday, April 29, Chelsea Lawson and Adam Newman will argue, but they will realize they need to cool down for their video conversation with Connor Newman. When Connor is at last ready to speak with Adam and Chelsea, there will be a few hiccups on the conversation because Adam will say something inappropriate. Adam will acknowledge that he still has a lot to learn when Connor shares his therapy-related knowledge regarding dissociations and reassurances. Adam will receive guidance from Chelsea during the video conversation, during which she will also share the good news that Connor has found friends and that they have been playing soccer together. Adam won't let up until Chelsea finally lets out all of her fear when Connor hangs up and leaves for class. There will be some lovely moments of honesty and a warm embrace amongst friends, because Adam will also confide in his own anxieties. According to other Rai and R rumors, when Nikki Newman pays Jack Abbott a visit at the Abbott residence, Summer Newman will learn some startling new information. Nikki will acknowledge that because she made the decision to save her, Jordan was free to pursue Harrison Abbott, Redding Munsell. Following her account of Jordan's poison consumption, Nikki will confess that Claire believed it would be best to let Jordan die. That portion of the story will astound Summer, who will question why Nikki would wish to let Jordan to survive under those circumstances. Nikki will argue that she was unable to watch Jordan die in front of them, particularly when doing so seemed to be giving in to her desire for convenience. Summer will let Nikki know that Jordan is the only one at fault, but as she confides in Jack, it will still appear as though she is placing some of the responsibility on Nikki. While Summer will always swear to love her grandmother, she will also always wish that Nikki had allowed Jordan to pass away on that day. Harrison's entire nightmare might have been averted in this way. Though Nikki is persuaded to go home and relax by Lauren Fenmore Baldwin, Tracy E. Bregman, at the coffee shop, Nikki ultimately checks into a suite in order to consume vodka in privacy. Victoria Newman and Cole Howard defend Claire Grace at the ranch when Michael Baldwin suggests that the phone call might have been a ruse by Jordan. Cole will undoubtedly support Victoria's assessment that Claire is clearly a victim and that she was reaching out in distress. Victoria will believe these things. Victoria and Cole will go to the motel room where Jordan detained Harrison once they receive Michael's apology. Cole will take a creepy doll down from the closet shelf once they have dug around a bit. There will be a pair of keys inside that doll that Victoria will eventually recognize. Victoria will inform Cole that she knows where the keys should go once she discovers where she's previously seen them. Michael will appear dubious of the narrative about Jordan jumping from a bridge when he gets back to the ranch. Michael will believe Victor is being honest when he swears he's not responsible for Jordan's terrible fate. Since I and our viewers are aware that Jordan is still alive and imprisoned in Victor's cellar, we won't be revealing any more spoilers about her future. Keep an eye out for Victor putting additional pressure on Jordan shortly, according to spoilers from The Young and The Restless. According to Young and The Restless spoilers for Tuesday, April 30, Victor Newman will question Jordan about Claire Grace's whereabouts once more, but Jordan might make a pledge to keep that information a secret until the day she dies. Given that there is no possibility that Victor will release her, Jordan might have no motivation to give in to his demands. Fortunately, some keys hidden inside a doll in Jordan's former motel room might lead to another way to locate Claire. Victoria Newman will take Cole Howard to the location where she believes Claire is being held hostage once she divulges where she has previously seen that key set. Spoilers for Mai and R, it seems that Victoria will ultimately be the one to locate Claire since she is about to make an incredible discovery. Claire's parents will support her and see to it that she returns home safely, as Cole will undoubtedly be involved in her rescue as well. 
Claire may still be dealing with trauma from the experience Jordan put her through, but Victoria and Cole will always be there for her. Ashley Abbott's mental health dilemma will continue to engulf the Abbotts, even if the Newmans will probably find a solution to the missing Claire crisis. Alan Laurent is flying into Genoa City to see what Ashley has been up against at Tracy Abbott's insistence. This psychotherapist would want to help Ashley as much as possible because he was close friends with her while she lived in Paris. Following their private conversation, Alan will see Ashley again and may be in for a major surprise given Ashley's recent personality transformation. Since Belle will still be in command, She'll immediately begin her strategy to woo Alan and leave the friend zone. Alan will make an effort to remind Ashley that they are just friends, but since he won't be interacting with Ashley in this situation, it won't really stick. Belle will be in charge and causing chaos in Ashley's life. Speaking with Belle will undoubtedly be an experience of a lifetime but it may also enable Alan to recognize Ashley's symptoms of dissociative identity disorder. We'll keep you informed on Ashley's next steps in the story, but our predictions suggest that Alan will be crucial in helping her get the assistance she needs. Fortunately, there may be another path to finding Claire thanks to some keys tucked inside a doll in Jordan's old motel room. After Victoria Newman reveals where she's seen that key set before, She'll lead Cole Howard to wherever she suspects Claire has been held captive. My and our spoilers Victoria will make a stunning discovery, so it sounds like she'll be the one to find Claire in the end. Of course, Cole will be involved in this rescue as well, so Claire's parents will step up for her and make sure she gets home safely. Although Claire may have more trauma to work through after the ordeal Jordan put her through, Victoria and Cole will be there for her no matter what. While the Newmans most likely resolve the missing Claire crisis, the Abbots will still be in the middle of Ashley Abbott's mental health drama. At Tracy Abbott's urging, Alan Laurent will land in Genoa City and get updates on what Ashley has been up against. Since Alan was good friends with Ashley in Paris, this psychologist will want to do anything he can to help her. After Alan speaks with Tracy in private, he'll reunite with Ashley and could get a big surprise thanks to the changes in her personality. Belle will still be in charge, so she'll quickly kick off her plan to seduce Alan and step out of the friend zone. Although Alan will try to remind Ashley that they're just pals, it won't sink in since he won't be dealing with Ashley in this instance. It'll be Belle who's running the show and making a mess of Ashley's life. Talking to Belle will prove to be quite an adventure, but it could also help Alan see that Ashley's struggling with dissociative identity disorder. Our predictions hint that Alan will play a key role in getting Ashley the help she needs, so we'll keep you posted on the next phase of the story. The Young and the Restless spoilers say Ashley will cause a few more shockers for the Abbott family, so stay tuned for all the wild news ahead. According to Y and R teasers, Ashley will give the Abbott family a couple more surprises, so be sure to check in for all the exciting news that's coming up. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.